oxygen who would forget this cry of the whole world until few months back hope omicron at your doorsteps will not suffocate us for the same reason well it's anita raj once again back to you with a thought that it's too correct at this time to get you all know about the great element oxygen along with its members of group 16 follow me guys in group 16 we have oxygen sulfur selenium tellurium and polonium and we are going to see some important mcqs related to this topic one by one today read the question students which one has the lowest boiling point h2o h2s h2sc h2te see in this uh, problem you are asked to find out the compound which is having the lowest boiling point and you are provided with four hydrides okay so h2o it's a hydride of oxygen h2s h2se h2te okay see uh, among this this water that is h2o among the four hydrate is considered to have the highest boiling point since because water molecules are linked by means of strong intermolecular hydrogen bonding so it requires large amount of energy to break the bond so this water it's not the answer okay because it is having the highest boiling point whereas the hydrogen bonding is not present in rest of the hydrides due to their low electronegativities of the central atoms what are the central atoms sulfur selenium and tellurium these are having um, low electronegativities so automatically uh, the uh, it cannot have the hydrogen bonding but the intermolecular forces present between their molecules are the weak van der waals forces okay so van der waals van der waals forces exists right van der waals forces exist so this uh, amount the amount of strength amount or the strength of this van der waals forces increases with increase in the molecular size as we move down the group the atomic size increases is it not so automatically the strength and the amount of the, in the van der waals forces also increases also will be increasing this is why h2s is having much uh, a lower boiling point right so it requires much more temperature to get boiled right so h2s is having little less boiling point when compared to water and also as as we move down the group the boiling point increases okay because of the strong van der waals forces right so automatically h2s will be having the lowest boiling point when compared to h2o or h2sc or h2te okay so the correct answer is this one uh, option b right read the next question h2s is more acidic than h2o Although sulfur is less electronegative than oxygen, this is because see they are telling that H2S is more acidic when compared to water. Though sulfur is less electronegative, and we are provided with four options, and they, we are we are asked to find out what are the options given. Water is highly associated compound. H's bond is weaker than HO bond. The molecular weight of H2S is more than that of water, and H2S is a gas while water is a liquid. And you are supposed to find out the correct option. Okay, so what are the hydrates? Actually, we have H2O. H2S, H2SE, H2T, is it not? So, uh, these are the very important hydrates we are having. See, when you are taking into account the hydrates of group 16, the MH bond, MH bond, that is MH bond. What does M here stands for? So, M stands for the element, okay? Sulfur, oxygen, sulfur, selenium, tellurium, right? So, this MH bond present in the hydrates are polar in nature, okay? And they dissociate in aqueous medium to give free H plus ions. See, they'll, it, this H plus ions will be released, okay? Which combines with H2 molecule to form hydronium ion. Let me explain that with the example H2S. Let us take H2S. H2S, when it combines with water, what happens? This H2S will release h plus ions and that gets combined with this water and it forms a hydronium ion and we will get hs minus okay and this hs minus again it will combine with water and this hs minus will be furnishing h plus ions again and again we will be getting hydronium ion and finally we will be getting s2 minus okay so the acidic strength of the hydrates will be increasing from h2s to ht h2 te see let me write the acidic strength order so h2s h2s and then comes h2 uh, uh, sc and then comes h2 t okay see water is considered to be less acidic okay on moving down the group the mh bond energy decreases due to an increase in the size of the atom obviously the size of the atom will be going on increasing so the mh bond will all length will also be increasing so thus the breaking of mh bond becomes easier from h2s to hte 
okay h2te so that is h2s bond is weaker this is why acidic strength of h2s uh, uh, will be a little more uh, uh, greater when compared to water okay so But option b is correct understood students hs bond is weaker than ho bond understood see the next question in which pair of ions both the species contain ss bond see ss linkage see we are provided with the different ion pairs okay s4 o6 2 minus s2 o3 2 minus this is an ion pair then another another set next set next set okay so different ion pairs were given and you are, are supposed to find out which uh, ion species is having the ss bond and obviously you should give the pair in pairs you want to give okay the answer so if you want to answer this question first you should know the structure of the ion pairs so let us see one by one let us see the structure of the first one that is s4 a, o6 2 minus Yes, four O six two minus. See here, this is the structure. Yes, yes, we are having four sulfur atoms. Is it not double bond O? Then O minus. Here we are having double bond, and then here O minus double bond O, double bond O. Okay. See here, we are having SS bond. Okay. So this S four O six two minus is having SS bond. So next, let us check with which one is two. O seven two minus. Let us see the structure of this compound. See uh, this ion S yes, O S yes, O minus. Here also O minus. Okay, double bond O. Here double bond O, double bond O, and then again double bond O. Here we don't have S S bond. Is it not here? We are having S O bond. So this ion is not correct. Okay, this is this ion is not having any S S bond. Next we shall see the structure of your next one S two O three two minus. What is the structure? See S yes, double bond O O minus. Here also we are having one O O minus, and then here double bond yes. Okay, so here is here also we are having S S bond. So S two O three two minus is also having a uh, uh, S S bond, is it not? So wherever we are having this S two O minus, then that option will not be the correct one. So check what are the options we are having S two O seven two minus S two O seven two minus here. So this ion pair. Uh, does not have ss bond okay this is wrong so again here also we are having s2 o7 2 minus so this is also wrong here also we are having s2 though we are having s4 o6 2 minus uh, but uh, here the second option second ion pair is not having the ss double bond okay this is not the correct option so next one s4 o6 2 minus s2 o3 2 minus so in both these cases we are having ss bond so the correct answer is this one option a understood students Read the next question. Which of the following is a stronger reducing agent? TeO2, SO3, SO, SeO3, SO2. See, you are provided with the oxides of uh, the group 16 elements, and you are asked to find out the stronger reducing agent, which is the best reducing agent. Understood? So let us check one by one. So let us take into account the first one that is SO. Three, okay, SO three. Let us consider SO three. See here, the sulfur in this uh, uh, SO three will be in plus six oxidation state. It is having plus six oxidation. That is, uh, this is the highest oxidation state which is attained after losing uh, out its outermost six electrons. And after losing six electrons, outermost uh, uh, six electrons, it will not further lose its inner electrons. So, if it is not losing, if it is not having a tendency to lose uh, electrons further, then it cannot behave as a strong reduction. Using agent, so this could not be the answer. Yes, so three understood. And when we are taking into account the next one, that is Se2O3. Okay, Se2O3. The selenium here uh, in this will be will also be having the oxidation state plus six, and it is the maximum oxidation state that can be attained by group sixteen element, and it cannot further uh, give two more electrons. So it cannot. It, this also cannot act as a strong reducing agent. And the next one is the uh, uh, higher element that. That is Te. That is tellurium. Here Te is in the plus four oxidation state. Understood. So it is in the plus four oxidation state, and it is the heavier element of the group. And when we are moving down the group, that is oxygen, sulfur, selenium. Uh, tellurium polonium when you are moving down the group the stability of this plus 4 oxidation state okay it decreases it decreases stability of this plus 4 oxidation state decreases due to the presence of inert pair effect understood due to the see when you are moving down there will be inert pair effect and this inert pair effect it will not uh, take into this inert electrons this uh, pair of electrons will not be participating in the formation of bond so mm, this uh, uh, stability of this will be going on decreasing okay thus te in teo 
O2 will not attain the higher oxidation state uh, like uh, selenium or uh, sulfur that is plus 6 oxidation it will not attain that means it will not give electrons so it cannot act as a strong reducing agent understood whereas when you are taking into account sulfur dioxide the sulfur in this sulfur dioxide will be in plus 4 oxidation state understood it will be in the plus 4 oxidation state but we know that the higher oxidation state that is plus oxidation state 6 will be the stable in the lighter elements in lighter elements okay this uh, obviously when you are taking into account sulfur is considered to be lighter uh, among this right so uh, in this lighter elements this plus 6 oxidation state will be the stable state okay so automatically this sulfur will be in a position to give two more electrons to attain this uh, uh, plus 6 oxidation state understood state. so this sulfur dioxide will behave as a strong reducing uh, agent after losing its two electrons okay so which is the correct option now sulfur dioxide so option d is correct okay so see the next question the oxidation state of sulfur in the anions so3 2 minus so4 2 minus and s2 o6 2 minus follow the order say they are asking you to find out the oxidation state of sulfur in all these ions and they are asking you to write in a increasing order understood so first we should know how to find out the oxidation state so let us see for the uh, uh, small compound that is so3 2 minus okay how to find out so3 2 minus let us consider this uh, we are we are in need of sulfur oxidation state of sulfur so we will take x uh, and what is the ox how many oxygen atoms are here are uh, three is it not so uh, what is the uh, charge that is oxidation number of oxygen it is minus two okay what is the charge on the whole ion it is minus two two minus is it not so two minus okay now x minus six is equal to minus two so x is equal to plus four so the oxidation state of sulfur in so3 2 minus is 4 likewise you should calculate the oxidation number of sulfur for the other compounds also when you are calculating s2 o4 2 minus is equal to plus 3 and the next ion is s2 o6 2 minus okay the oxidation state which we found out is plus 5 so when you are comparing all these things if you want to write in the increasing order the option would be s2 o4 2 minus and the next one is so3 2 minus and the next one is s2 o6 2 minus understood students and find out the answer which is the correct one right which is having this one s2 o4 uh, 2 minus so3 2 minus and s2 o6 2 minus is it not so this is the correct option Read the next question students the hybridization state of sulfur in sf6 is sp3 d sp3 d2 d2 sp3 and sp3 d3 so you are asked to find out the hybridization state of sulfur in sf6 understood so to know the hybridization of sulfur in sf6 first we should know the ground state and the excited state configuration of sulfur okay so in ground state in uh, ground state let me write so it will be having a 3s2 and 3p4 okay so let me uh, uh, give the configuration this is 3s uh, and here you will be having two electrons and 3p so here 3p and here we will be having two here you will have an unpaired electrons and here d the d orbital it will be free vacant okay so you are having um, six electrons is it not two four six now so next we shall write the excited state configuration so excited state it will be having like uh, so what happens during excitation the electron pass in the uh, electron pass in 3s as well as in the 3p will get unpaired and one out of each pair one out of each pair will be promoted to the vacant 3d orbital understood so during excitation this is what happening let me write so this is 3s from here one electron will be jumping to 3d understood and from here also 1 2 so this is 3p from here one electron will be jumping to 3d orbital okay so 3d orbital 1 here and here right so the electrons are jumping here from here and here the electrons are jumping to the 3d orbital okay so now all these six electrons okay now all these three, six electrons that is one from uh, 3s and three from 3p and two from 3d or with these are all half filled okay and these half filled orbitals they get hybridized and results in the formation of six sp3 six yes 
P 3 here 3 is it not here 3 right and D 2 ok they form these 6 uh, orbitals ok so they see this 6 orbitals they get hybridized and results in the formation of sp3 d2 hybrid orbitals further this sp3 d2 hybrid orbitals overlap with 2p orbitals of fluorine and forms sf bond ok so which option is correct sp3 d2 sp3 d2 that is option b is correct understood students read the next question which is the correct order of reactivity of group 16 elements See, they are asking you to find out the uh, correct order in the increasing order, okay, reactivity of group 16. So, what are the elements present? Oxygen, sulfur, selenium, tellurium and polonium, is it not? See, when you are taking into account these elements, this oxygen is considered to be most reactive element of group 16. And obviously, it is the, re its reactivity is, is wide, uh, it is slightly lesser than that of the most reactive elements that are the halogens, okay. It is the second most electronegative element in the periodic table even, right. So, therefore, it prefers to gain electrons. Since, because it is more reactive, this oxygen prefers to gain electrons. And next comes the sulfur and it is the next reactive element of group 16 and obviously its reactivity increases at high temperature so as we move down the group the reactivity decreases understood so as we move down the group reactivity decreases because of the successive decrease in the values of electron negativity since electron negativity electron negativity decreases since it decreases automatically reactivity also decreases understood reactivity also decreases so when we move down the group the electron negativity decreases automatically the reactivity decreases so which is the uh, correct option oxygen sulfur selenium tellurium polonium understood so option this option is correct option d is correct understood The next question is the structure of SF4 is, they are asking you to find out the structure of SF4, whether it is octahedral or trigonal, bi, uh, bi pyramidal or square planar or uh, tetrahedral. See, the sulfur atom present in SF4 is in the state of sp 3 D hybridization okay sp3 D hybridization okay it has so if it is following this hybridization definitely the option would be trigonal bipyramidal okay the structure with the one with one equatorial position occupied by a lone pair of electrons so this is so f and here f f and again f and here we have a lone pair of electron understood so this is the structure of sf4 it has a CSA structure okay and it has a four bond pair of electrons and one lone pair so the structure is trigonal bipyramidal understood students fine students you might must have understood all the important questions which we have discussed today shall meet you with a very important topic in a short period until then it's anita raj your chemistry mentor signing off from you thanks for watching